I am world-renowned commercial fisherman, Smedley Hook'em and Keep'em, the Salmon King. And I'm just about to reel in another big one. <laughs> well, I'll be. I ain't never seen a fish like you before. What are you, some kind of herring? A pike? A halibut? Hold on one little fleckin' minute. You ain't no fishy. You're a penguin. A self-respecting commercial fisherman always tosses back the little ones. Time for this angler to get back to the cannery with the catch of the day. I know what you're thinking. A world-renowned fisherman and a pilot, too? Yup, I'm what you might call a renaissance man. <laughs> it's kind of drafty up here in the wild blue yonder. Huh? Drafty and noisy. I'll just switch on the autopilot whilst I go have a little look-see. Huh? Come back here, you little stowaway. This here's a non-penguin flight, so I'm sending you back home. Air mail delivery like. Huh? Hmm. Thought I had this baby flying perfectly level like. Now I know I've heard that sound before. Distant little penguin. Goodbye. A hard-working commercial fisherman needs nourishment to sustain his strength. I swear, it's getting so a man can't even have a moment's peace to enjoy the fruits of his labors. Stay out, you freeloading fish napper! <laughs> ah, nothing like rewarding yourself for a job well done, I always say. Will I be a Marlin's mama? I never knew penguins could fly. <laughs> yep, that boy is positively starting to fry my flounder. <laughs> and stay down this time, you little salmon swiper! Nine. Huh? Okay. One and lift off. You know, a skilled pilot sure would be lost without his trusty map. <laughs> Employ my old fashioned plane splitter. Okay, you little seafood snatcher, the jig is up. You come back here and take what's coming to you, you tuxedo wearing varmint. That's funny, it almost feels like I'm running downhill. Holy mackerel, I plum forgot to turn on the autopilot. 
my precious cargo and nearly lost my plane. This is all your fault, penguin. Ah! I am gonna bait and hook you when we get down from here, boy. What the? Hey, come back here, you little deserter. As a wildlife ranger, I'm sworn to protect all endangerous critters in these here harsh weather conditions. That means making sure the rare albino polar bear who lives in this here cave has food to eat all winter long, a nice warm place to make nappy time, and some entertainment appliances for his personal enjoyment. <sighs> now to get myself acquainted with the big fella. Huh? Now, just what the heck's going on hereabouts? Well, well, what have we here? Why, you're just a normal, everyday penguin. And this here stuff is for endangerous critters like the albino polar bear. So get! That big fella'll sleep like a baby cub on this here posterior pedic. You gotta be real careful with these ornery bear types. They can be mighty standoffish if and you don't make a good first impression. Say! Now you listen here, little fella. This bed is designed for the slumbering of one albino polar bear. Now come back here and... Hello there, mister. <laughs> well, my first encounter with the big fella didn't go so swell, but food is real hard to come by out here, and I'm sure this here Philette Mignon will warm him up to me. <laughs> Mr. Bear, got you some delectables. <laughs> Stay 20 paces away from the critter to show him that I am in no way his predator. This here penguin is really starting to crush my eyes. Sure is a heavy little fella. <laughs> Y'all might want to avert your eyes. This is gonna hurt a bit, I reckon. Like it says in the Ranger Handbook, when in pain, always revert to the standard operating declaration. Ouch! Stay out of my preserve, little fella. I'm as sure as snow on Christmas that this big screen TV will win back <laughs> that fella's affections. <laughs> I 
I'll just put the set on mute and program all the educational-like channels for this big fella's edification. Wait. Hmm, looks like my first aid training's gonna come in mighty handy in a few seconds. <laughs> You are banished from these here parts until such time as you are in dangerous, rare, or unique. Which will be never! I am officially pronouncing this banished penguin territory. So you stay put. Well, hi and howdy there, little purple penguin. Don't see much of your kind around these parts. Wait a minute. You know, I'm not as dumb as he looks. There ain't no such thing as a purple penguin, Mr. Purple Penguin. Impersonating an endangerous type critter is a serious offense against nature. You know what? That's not a half bad look for you, Mr. Bear. Aha! It is the ultra rare tropical penguin and the tropical polar bear. What a fine! Now, just a credit catching minute here, short stuff. These creatures are in my charge, and I. For shame! A member of the Ranger Service chasing such endangered creatures? No, 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 no. These little ones deserve better. They deserve the tropical four star treatment. And you, my Arctic Ranger friend, will be sweeping out the tropical preserve paradise when I report you to headquarters! Whew! It sure is hot working here in this tropical nature preserve. <laughs> oh well, at least it's a dry heat. Tonight on the planet's stupidest people, meet a man who swallowed watermelon seeds as a child. Today, they harvest enough melons from his ears to feed a small farming community. Now, back to our number one show, how to train any dog using nothing more than big chunks of very expensive meat. I'm here with Smedley, the world's most renowned dog trainer, who claims he can train any dog to do anything he asks. Yes, ma'am. Allow me to demonstrate my patented positive reward system. <laughs> Little canine friend, how's about I give you a big chunk of very expensive meat? <laughs> but first, can you give me the square root of pi? <laughs> Why, that's doggone astounding! <laughs> Yup, there ain't a smarter critter alive than a well-trained dog. Mm-hmm. After that interview, the world will surely be the path to my doggy door. <laughs> Always remember, dog lovers, a busy dog is a happy dog. <laughs> Fetch, little feller. It's like my Uncle Lucius always said, if you love something, let it go. Cause a good dog will always bring it back. Good dog. Hold on one flea flicking minute. Now you get back here, you little prime rib raider, you. You're no doggy. You're a penguin. Huh? Mm-mm-mm. 
Now that's just downright cold. Someone should train you to have better manners. But it's not gonna be me. <laughs> Yeah, it's a well-known fact the dog is man's best friend. As such, he must learn to share the same interests as his master. <laughs> Take, for example, my deep abiding interest in the art of dance. Uh -oh. This here is a tutu for you, you. <laughs> Dancers are always a little high strung before a performance. Now see here, until you are willing to do as I say, there will be no more rewards. Is that clear as ice? You go on outside and think it over. When you come back, I want to hear music are playing and your jete are swaying. <laughs> Atlantic Ocean. That there is music to a dog trainer's ears. Nothing more effective than a well-trained dog to protect your domicile. Go mind the perimeter, and when you return, this here reward has got your name on it, Ace. Yes, sir. With a well-trained guard dog, any home is safe from a penguin break-in. You are one incorrigible little critter, huh? We're here for a follow-up interview with the world's most famous dog trainer. <laughs> I'm always happy to oblige the media. We hear you're branching out. You've trained dogs, and now you plan to train penguins. Is that true? <laughs> it's true, folks, and there's a penguin to prove it. No, I absolutely have not trained this penguin, dog nabbit. No, then we're going to see an exclusive on our program. Think of the ratings. Think of the customers you'll get out of this. <sighs> I guess sometimes you're the alpha dog, and sometimes you're the bone. What's he going to do next, Smedley? Oh, I can't even imagine. Follow him! I guess left to their own devices, some critters are a whole lot smarter than we ever give them credit for. Woof, 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 wow. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur-bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, 
the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <coughs> The fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. What? starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? This is a genuine... Whoa! Listen, Beb, I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb, but apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub, I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. 
Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it, and some of these long johns too. I'll be back though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin. Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Hello? Stay on I him. Stay there. Oh, Keep a me word, focused. Please, Mr. Penguin. We'll get a reverse angle later on. Please.